everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another die cast restoration video. Hope everybody's well and looking forward to the video this week. Right, I did have some fun and games a bit with this one and um, it all turned out reasonably well in the end. Um, it's <laughs> again a bit of an issue with reproduction parts and all that but anyway that, that's neither here nor there. I'm not trying to make excuses. Um, now, this one, you probably already read the title of what it is, but it didn't start out um, exactly as the model it finished. Um, well, it finished up being, if you like. Uh, I did watch one of um, Corgi Bob's videos from a couple of years ago. I remember him doing it. And um, he did this model, the same as what I've done, so it kind of inspired me to do it. I did like the look of the finished model, so I wanted to do this. Now this is one that I picked up at a toy fair when we were on holiday last year. And I did show it in, I think, my purchases video of that time. Um, yes, it's... It's a Mini Moke, it's a Dinky Toys Mini Moke, and it didn't start out life as the Mini Moke that it's finished as exactly the same as, as Corgi Bob's. So it was just the ordinary Austin Mini Moke painted in blue metallic, um, what was left of it that I bought at the Toy Fair. And we have converted it and turned it into the uh, Prisoner Mini Moke. So that's the Dinky Toys number 106. Um, I did have to get a few reproduction parts for this one. I have put my own tweaks on it a bit as well. Um, a bit extra that wasn't on the Dinky model that was on the original or the real model. Or the real the real Mini Moat, not the real model. And um, yeah, I've done my best. Uh, to do it but it, it didn't turn out as, as great as I wanted it to but it still looks alright so before we get on with that I'd just like to say thank you to all my subscribers old and new um, thanks for watching my videos and sticking with me and thanks for all your comments and, and advice it's very much appreciated and I do take on board what you say right so well we might as well get on with it so as I always say, please sit back, relax, enjoy watching the video, see how I got on with this one. Right, okay, let's take a closer look at this one. Uh, Dinky Toys Austin Mini Moak, made in England, McKenna Limited. Um, these are, well, the tyres, I think maybe the back ones are probably more right for it. They're slightly wider, I'm not sure. They're all different sizes, anyway. Two back ones are the same size as a smaller one on the front. Um, the bonnet's there, steering wheel's missing, the um, windscreen's all bent, it doesn't matter, the canopy's missing, the spare wheel's missing, there's a fair bit missing on this one, I have put, an, um, well I have ordered all the parts for it, I think I've ordered all the parts, I've ordered some, I know that, but I don't know if I've got them all, um, so steering wheel, canopy, back wheel etc. Um, yeah, so there's not a lot to this one, I see the wheels must pull off, but um, no rivets to drill out or anything on this, 
So I'm going to get my tools and then we'll take apart what can come apart. Okay. Right, let's have a see for this mini moak. Right. Can I get these wheels off? Mm -hmm. Good question. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Just need a bigger screwdriver. Slightly bigger one. Can I find one? Yeah. Okay. That's coming off, not too, too bad. Bump the arshies off. So, that's that one. Now, yeah, try and get this one off. Ah, they are. Come off quite easy. Right, okay. So that's that bit. Um, what comes off here? Now, Yes, this windscreen, I don't know. Oh, it just pulls out. <laughs> okay, so I need to check how far, maybe, I don't know if that's meant to be bent or straight up. I think it's meant to be straight up. I'll have to check that. Easy fix either way. Um... And this bonnet hinge, it's a bit tatty, but it's still okay. Whoop, a daisy. So, if I can get the paint, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. <sighs> Maybe use the old um, Detto. See if I can get the paint off the whole lot of that. I might have to just paint the whole lot. Engine or maybe I'm not sure. Probably look better if it was, but maybe the paint's going to peel off it if I do paint it. But it would look better the same colour as the actual mini moke, wouldn't it? In my opinion. Now, what does that say? Something Caribbean seats on there? I can't read it. But if you can read it through there I can't see what it says something Caribbean four seats let me have a look at my glasses no I can't make it out just look on the internet that'd be the easiest thing okay so this is ready for the caustic soda did have a number plate on there can't see what it is because it's come off. Let's make a new one, I suppose. I might put a jersey one on it. Right, that's ready for the caustic. So, see you across at the caustic soda bath. Okay, so I'm going to put the mini milk in with this one from last time or one of my previous restoration videos save the old caustic a bit oh. I can see the uh, Green coming off the mini moak. Not enough yet though. Okay then, so we'll leave that in a few minutes longer. And then um, we will come back to it when it's all wire brushed and cleaned up ready for putting the primer on so we'll see you over the, at the bench
Okay then, that's all cleaned up, um, ready for the primer. I haven't cleaned it with meths yet, but I'll do that and then I'm going to put the primer on. I left the plastic on, um, I'll just probably mask that a little bit off the plastic and um, this I did just clean. All I did was leave it in the Dettol the whole thing for about three days and that got the paint off. I um, didn't put that in the caustic soda obviously because of the plastic. So I'm going to go and, well I'm going to clean that first with mess and then go out and spray it, the primer on it. So I'll catch you when that's done. Okay. Okay, something I didn't notice before, which I've only just noticed now, is that the other piece of bumper, see like that one, on this side was snapped off. So I drilled with a small drill bit down in there. I drilled a nice little hole, but then it wasn't big enough. So I drilled with a bigger drill bit, and of course it, it's gone through. Um, you know, the, the bumper's not big enough for the drill bit I used, but it doesn't matter. So I've got like half a, I don't know if you can see it, half a round in the bumper there. So I've cut this piece of um, nail, panel pin, whatever. I've cut a little tiny piece here, and I'm going to glue that in there, like so. I'll do it off camera because it's a bit fiddly, but that's what I've got to do and um, then I might use a little bit of baking uh, powder just to fill the little gap in so I'm going to do that now and then I'll go and paint it and then we'll have a look what it looks like right put the primer on this mini milk um, doesn't look too too bad So there's the bonnet, I painted the plastic piece as well so I thought it's better to better to paint the whole lot and try and mask it off and all that and it, it'll look better because it be the same colour as the vehicle then. Okay so I'm going to go and put colour on that and then uh, I'll come back to you. Okie dokie, so what I'm going to do um, I'm going with this Prisoner Mini Moak, same as Corgi Bob did. So I need to paint the white now on this. Now these little rectangles need to be painted in brown like a wood effect on both sides and up here and this side. Now I'm going to have to mask that off to do that but first of all what I'm going to do um, is paint this white um, now I've drilled this hole here for an aerial because there wasn't one on this because obviously it wasn't the prisoner moak to start with um, so I've got an aerial the aerial there um, so I'll have to put that in first before I spray this white but I, before that I've got to put a little blob of five second fix on the top to make like a little ball because it was like a, a little knobby bit on the top so I'm going to do that and then glue it in and then I'll spray it and then we'll come back to it okay so I've done that you can see the little knobbly bit on the end so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put it in to the hole here that I've drilled. Try and get it in. Okay. There you are. So I'll put a little blob again 
A five second fix underneath. Yeah. I'm getting the out. There you go. Here it comes. Do put the lid on quick. Put the light on. And there we go. Sorry, just bang my head again on the uh, <laughs> on the camera. Keep that on there for a little bit. Oh, my memory card's nearly full. Two minutes left. Trouble is, I've got three memory cards with clips of different models on that I still need to keep. So I'm running out of memory cards until I make a video out of all the models I've started. Then I can delete it all and then start again. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go spray this dry now. I'm going to go and spray this white on here and then we'll come back to you with it. And we'll have to make, um, go on the computer and make the old stickers for the, the canopy. Um, this was great when it came down. I've primed it with plastic primer and I've sprayed it with grey primer but these legs the way it was packed they'd bent over in the post so I'm a bit cheesed off with that they're not you know they're hard to get straight again the paint sort of stiffened them up a little bit but they're not good okay so we're going to get all this done paint it up and then we'll come back to you I might do um, the sticker, make the sticker before I paint this white. Right, so what I've done here, I've put that flat on there and I've just drawn around it with a pencil and I've tipped that up like that and drawn around that back bit. So, um, I have got to cut this smaller because we've got this lip around here and I've got to make the template for my sticker inside these ridges so I've just got to make it slightly narrower right I've made this sticker vinyl sticker paper to go on the roof um, I've had a job to get it the right size. This I've had to paint because it was the wrong colour. It was grain. Well, you can see the colour it was. That's where I've had my clamp. Um, but the trouble is, trying to size a sticker in that, the paint's peeling off because the plastic keeps bending. So what I'll have to do, I'm going to try and put this on and then... What shows after I'll just have to touch up um, you know before I put it back on onto the car so uh, I've got to try and get this straight I don't know if I lift my camera up a bit I know it's difficult for you to see but I need to be able to see myself what I'm doing here so if I get my little knife I get tweezers with him, I need those as well. Don't do like I've just done, been down to get the tweezers and stab myself in the side of the head with his knife. Right, I'm trying. I've got to get the backing paper off, it's not easy to start it off. I made these yesterday. And I didn't want to do, I mean, what Corgi Bob did with the um, masking tape on his, stuck it to the roof to get the size, 
and peeled it off. I didn't want to do it because <laughs> I painted it. I should have done it before I painted it. But I didn't think of it then, like a twit. And, um, well, this is what's happened. I'll have to try and make it as best I can. Now, I know this is a bit long. Whoop. And also I need to get it in the right place. And I hope I've done it okay. Oh, I'm not looking what I'm doing now. Oh, look, see, that's what happens. It's pulled the bloody... Pulled the bloody thing right off now. I knew that was going to happen. Pull the bloody paint off. Right. Doesn't matter. It's underneath. It's underneath. Right. I'm going to bend that over. Ridge there. You did a better job than me, Bob. If you if you do watch this video, <laughs> I shall do the same and cut this window out, but from the inside, and then I'm going to cut along this bit as well with a knife. Yeah, so. Hopefully, no, I need to lay it on something. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll cut that back window out off camera because it'll be easier for me to see what I'm doing. Right, well, that didn't work out because what happened, it peeled the paint off. So I've had to scrape the paint off the bit where I'm going to stick the sticker and then what I'm going to have to do is mask all the sticker up and then uh, repaint this that's the only way I can see to do it so all the paint's just peeled off it, it doesn't st stick well at all to this plastic right pain in the arse okay back to the drawing board right okay we've had a bit better success this time so I've stuck that on and now I'm gonna have to mask off and paint these grey bits so that's that's a lesson learned um, try and get the same colour canopy um, as the white car if you do this one the white mini moke because this is the only one I could get on model supplies um, I think it was for one or the other obviously it's the same but it was for one of the other mini mokes that had a grey canopy but this was the only one they had I couldn't get the right, right one I wanted for that so um, you know put your sticker on before you paint it really and, and mask it off well that's what I've had to do um, yeah so I've had to glue this front bit um, like I think Gorgie Bob mentioned that uh, when he did his because the, the sticker paper doesn't it doesn't stick on a small edge like that it gradually lifts so it's not going to lift now ok so I'm going to mask that off and paint it white and then we'll see what happens then it's very flimsy these these things these posts here are so flimsy and they're all twisted and bent they don't line up with the holes so I'm more than likely going to chip them again when I put it on the actual mini moke right okay I'm gonna carry on with some other bits and then we'll come back to it 
Right, I've I had masked all this off. It wasn't easy, and I know for a fact that some of the brown I've put in has gone under the tape. Um, I've I've done these side pieces. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm going to take the tape off, and then, well, when that's dry, um, and then I'm going to have to, um, you know, have to, have to clean it up because it doesn't work very well. Okay. All right. Okay then. Um, I had to hand paint this once the sticker was on. The only way I could do it. Um, I'm not happy with it, but it doesn't look too bad. But that's a lesson. If you're going to do one of these, make sure when you order the canopy that it's a white one and not a grey one. Okay, so um, I think when I put it on, probably these are going to flex again and the paint's going to flake. So I'll have to touch it up. It's it's not an ideal thing, but anyway. So that's that. Um, this I've lacquered it now. I've got the wood effect done. Again, it's not brilliant. Um, it looks all right though. It's when you look through the magnifying glass and you look close, you think it's mm, not quite so good. But it looks great to the naked eye. Just looking at it. So I've done a bit of engine detail, same as Corgi Bob did. Um, just painted that silver, done the front grille, my taxi sticker could have been longer to cover the whole number plate but that's, uh, you know, it's one of them isn't it. I did add those seat stickers on the seats, I think I've already told you, um, but the pictures on Google show the seats have got these stripes on, even though they're not red stripes, they're sort of more an orangey and a browny stripe. Now these, some of them, the indicators I've done, some of them are not orange, some are, are white light, some are orange, I didn't know what to do, but I thought, well, the orange shows up better, so I think it looks a bit nicer. Um, yeah, we did our repair to the back here, again, that's not great, you can see where I've joined it. Um, back lights are done. So yes, yeah, it's, um, it's pretty much ready to put back together. Now what we have got is this windscreen. I did get a repro one. I didn't stick a piece in like Corgi Bob, which I could have done, but it saved me a few, well a couple of quid. I don't know how much it was. It wasn't that much actually. So. But what I've got to do is try and get that in at the same time as the uh, windscreen surround. I don't want to glue it. I don't want to glue the windscreen to the frame. Yes, if I'd have cut a piece out like Corgi Bob did, then I would have had to. But the way this is, I shouldn't have to. But it's not going to be that easy to get it in. Um, straight I don't think um, yes yeah, so sorry about my hand being in the way I've got the camera at a slightly different angle this time try and get a bit lower on the bench rather than up here pointing down the wheels I've polished up um, come up right one of them has got some blemishes in that I can't get rid of the tyres were old tyres, well I don't know if they're old or new but that was a job lot of tyres, a big lot of tyres I had off Ian Hulley, a few, what well, last year sometime, um, so they're probably, they might be slightly thicker than what was on the, the actual dinky model but I think they look nicer, I think they look quite, they look right you know. When they're on so again I've got a reproduction steering wheel uh, put me stripes on the the back wheel cover painted the tire in and lacquered it 
so hopefully that should be all right and then we've got our water slide decal I made one I put on the on the bonnet and then I've lacquered it so we're ready to uh, put back together okay then right so we're gonna have to put the bonnet on first I think now this little peg here push that out of the way it's got to go in this little hole there you can see not the one that's closest to the uh, there like that it's got to go in there it just pushes down and um, it's not uh, great because it's not going to the bonnet's not going to stay shut so that's a bit naff to be honest I don't really know what I can do about that nothing really unless the um, windscreen holds it down so let's see if we can get this windscreen in or should I perhaps put the steering wheel in first maybe ah now that's not going to be easy either should I have put that in first before the bonnet maybe may well be I think you might have to get this bonnet out again. The steering wheel's got to go in this first hole. Oh, I can get in. Just gotta turn. I've got the heater on because I'm cold. Let's just use the tweezers. Use of the tweezers. <laughs> Fiddly fiddly, that's it. So the steering wheel's got to go in there. And then. <laughs> no, it's going to have to go in after. It's going to have to go in after. Put this back again. thing is this um, piece on the dash it's gone in yeah it's gone in okay we got that we've got that in okay so that's that's pushing the bonnet against the front there so um, that's that hopefully is going to hold it in Right, so I need to get this glass on the inside of the screen. I wonder if I'm best to push that in first. And then push the screen in. Now I have had to bend the screen. Uh, Corgi Bob said he had to bend his to make the canopy fit. And I've sort of bent it, I don't know if you can see into a sort of a um, goes like that because it needs to be straight up there to fit up into the canopy um, but it needs to be bent that way so that it doesn't pull the canopy out at the back so it's sort of an S shape or back to front S shape so we'll try and push this in here with the screen And I don't know if it's going, I don't think it's going to go. I don't think it's going to go. Oh dear. I don't want to bugger up the bonnet, which I'm probably going to do. Which I have done, I think I've chipped it. Alright. 
Oh dear, this isn't going well, is it? This isn't going very well at all. Oh, for God's sake. Now the windscreen has gone through the frame. Creeping ivy. Oh, let's try another way. Right. No, I'm scratching all the bonnet here. I'm not sure why it's not going in. Well, I think probably the bloody um, thing is too thick with this glass on it. Possibly. That would appear to be what's happening. It's too thick with that damn glass. No, it's not going to work. Um, I'm going to have to take this gloss out, I think. Uh. <laughs> yeah, let's have a fiddle. Now there's definitely paint chipped on that. Ah, and now my memory card run out. Oh, everything's going wrong again. Right, okay, I've cut the very bottom of the windscreen off, the little bit that went right down with the windscreen. I've sort of cut it to halfway. I was going to show you the little piece, but it's gone. It must be on the floor somewhere. Um, so it's managed to slide in the first bit. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I've got a little chip right there on the hinge. I don't know if you can see. So we have to touch that up. Uh, and this bonnet's probably where it goes in there. It's, it's chipped, but I'm not going to be uh, wanting to open that, to be honest. Sorry, I'm off camera just because I've moved it to put the memory stick, memory card in. Yeah, so I'm not going to be wanting to open that bonnet because it's really tight. The windscreen's pushing it up tight against the front here. Right. Oh, 
go. That's not a chip. No, it's a bit of dirt. That's lucky. Right. Okay, so that's that bit. Um, maybe it might be a good idea to put the wheels on next. Right. So, pretty simple. If I can get the thing lined up and back on. Got to get the splines right and you don't know if I've got them right or what. at the moment. Ugh. Ties are pushing off. Okay, that's it. I think that's on. Ties a bit cockeyed. There's a bit of play in them, but they are both right on, I think. I think they're pretty much they are on. Now this thing, which is going to be a pain in the arse as well, because I think as I try and get it on, um, these things are going to bend and the paint's just going to go. <laughs> no, I need to put a little blob of glue in each hole. Don't know. Whether to put any down in there, maybe along the bottom of this, possibly. Just a little bit along the bottom. Oh, a little bit, I said. Not a big bit. Because it's going to be a display piece rather than a play, playing with model set really it doesn't matter if it's glued I can't get the lid on the glue oh. right let's give it a whirl make sure I've got no glue on my fingers moment I've been dreading. Come on. <laughs> now, I need to get these in. So I need to pull this one, yeah. This one needs to go back in there. On that side. Oh, sugar, it's come out there. Ugh. I knew this was going to be a pain in the tit. Well, that's what I thought was going to happen. It's paint's coming off the canopy. 
and they're so flimsy these uprights get in he's not going in look he's buckling ah that damn thing and that's going in this one's all cracking so I'm going to have to peel that paint off and redo it Never mind. Right. Okay. So that's that bit on. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna touch those bits up now because they're annoying me. So before I go any further, I'm just gonna spray a bit of this white paint. Appliance white. Also to auto spray into a pot, and I'm just gonna touch up these little bits. Right, okay, we've done that. Uh, doesn't look too, too bad. And I've got, I've got a bit of white paint on the plastered brown there. Right, so next we've just got to put this on. So the stripes are going to go. Um, up and down. I'll put this the right way. There's a little piece I cut yeah. Little piece I cut off from the moulding of it. Okay. A bit cockeyed. Right, okay, that's that then. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to make a box. I'll try and make a box if I've got one in my template. So I'm going to go and have a look and then see. Right, okay then, that's it. Another one saved from the dinky scrapyard. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I was enjoying it up until when the uh, sticker pulled the paint all off the roof, the canopy, and of course this carry on with the bonnet being too tight and the windscreen and all that. So it did make some chips, but anyway I managed to touch them up and they don't show up, so, well they don't show up too much anyway, you can't notice it with the naked eye. So um, it, it doesn't look too too bad, and I do prefer it to the model that it was before we started. So we're going to do a few outdoor shots as usual, um, then we'll put it on the turntable to compare before and after. I'm going to try and make a box, so I'll show that in the still pictures, and um, that'll be that for this one. So if you have enjoyed this video, please join me again next time for another diecast restoration video. I don't know what model it's going to be because I've got two or three on the go. At the moment so I'm not sure which one's going to be finished first um, so yeah if you do want to see more please join me again next time so until then take care look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next video cheerio for now bye bye habito see you then <laughs>